Politics. Auckland Council has disappointed environmentalists, and not only environmentalists, by deciding to keep the Waitakere Ranges open despite the threat posed by Cody dieback disease. Councillors this afternoon endorsed closing 13 tracks deemed to be at risk, but against. They voted against fully banning access to the city's second largest regional park. It's a decision many say is hugely disappointing. Laura Tupo was at today's meeting and filed this report. A resolution to close the Waitakere Ranges was lost by four votes. The Regional Manager of Forest and Bird, Nick Beveridge, says he's disappointed at the Council's inaction. I think it just seems a little bit too daunting and um, they, I guess they, they thought if we agree to this then you know, how, how, are we going to, how are we going to roll it out? And I, I think they just found it too, too much to, to cope with and they went with more of a compromise. Forrest and Bird says councils need more support from central government to fight the disease. The Auckland Mayor, Phil Goff, told the meeting that while he sympathised with calls for total closure, policing such a ban would be near impossible. There is no way that we can simply close the park and ensure that nobody goes into it. Uh, unless you were to put an electric fence or a, or a razor wire fence around the park, which is absolutely impossible, uh, you won't be able to stop people who want to go into the park doing so. Councillor Ross Klo, who is the only councillor to live in the ranges, agreed and said the rahui that was put in place by local iwi on Sunday was the best option. I respect the rahui that's been put in place by, in place by Takara Maki and uh, I will say it works. I've observed that uh, kare kare, the, the rahui there has actually led to a regeneration of the shellfish and by and large most people seem to respect it. Penny Hulse said even though the rahui doesn't have any legal teeth, the council will support it. We're going to encourage people to stay out of the ranges. Think about walking on a beach or somewhere else. Stay away from Kauri. Councillor Cathy Casey, who voted for total closure, said the council had an obligation to respect Māori wishes to close the park. And what amazes me is when we listen to Māori at this table and when we don't, and I'm urging you today to listen. They, they came here in good faith. They made a very strong case, supported by the Independent Maori Statutory Board. And it's supported by our obligations under the Treaty of Waitangi. Councillor John Watson also made an impassioned plea to close the park. It is a crisis. It's not something that can perhaps be managed uh, piecemeal. Um, or, or, or to, I thought we, we've sort of been down that route. Um, everyone acknowledges the work the council's done. But to a large extent, we've already tried this. There are 172 tracks in the Waitakere's. More face closure, but those details won't be known until February. However, all councillors, including the Mayor, agree more money needs to be invested in fighting the disease. Mo te hotaka o te ahiahi, ko Laura Tupou aho.